Skin, the largest human organ. It is a sensory organ that protects our bodies and is integral to our metabolism and immune system. For the past few years, this important tissue has been grown successfully in the laboratory using tissue engineering methods, but only in a costly, labor-intensive manufacturing process at specialized laboratories by trained personnel. Until now, in 2008, biologists and engineers from four Fraunhofer institutes joined forces to create a project that is truly unique in the world, a factory for human skin. Initially, we wanted to show that we can produce test systems where human tissue can be used as an alternative to animal experiments. Because many studies have revealed that drugs tested in a clinical trial may cause side effects in patients that did not appear in the animal experiments. The skin factory consists of three fully automated modules. In the first module, the equipment separates skin cells from a piece of human skin the size of a postage stamp. A laser beam measures this biopsy. Then the sample is minced by a small blade allowing the individual skin cells to be extracted. But who would actually need artificial skin models like these? The initial target group for whom we developed this device includes companies that are involved in cosmetic, chemical and pharmaceutical development and that rely on the use of tissue for both risk assessment and impact analysis. At the beginning of Module 2, the isolated skin cells are filtered out so that they can proliferate. This process of cell division can be easily detected under the microscope. The cells are dividing here at the top, in the highlighted region. In order to stimulate propagation, the cell cultures are placed in an incubator for about two days. A robotic arm regularly retrieves them so that cell growth can be examined and tracked. Depending on the growth, each dish receives its own special diet through a pipette. Despite all the technology, it's not the equipment that sets the pace, it's the biology so the system must be able to respond flexibly. Almost like a fourth module, the software running on this system controls the whole process and acts as the interface for the user. This is by no means a rigid process. Instead, we have processes that hinge on cell growth. In Module 3, the cultured skin cells are placed on a gel matrix. The skin tissue is able to grow here. Mixed well with collagen, within about two weeks, each of the small plates holds a full-grown, three-layered piece of skin, just like human skin, with the epidermis, dermis and subcutis. At the end, each of the 24 virtually transparent pieces of skin in the dishes has undergone a fully automatic quality control process. Even when it was just a prototype, the system met all the hygienic standards of good manufacturing practices. The short-term goal is to develop cartilage and skin with blood vessels. In other words, skin that can also be used directly as transplants for patients. The major advantage is that we intend to produce autologous transplants from the patient's own cells. We start by taking a small biopsy from the patient, isolate and expand the cell type of interest and build a patient-specific transplant. Ultimately, this means the patient can give up long-term medication therapy. The risk of rejection is eliminated and the lack of donor organs is no longer an issue. In the future, such skin and tissue factories could be installed at major medical centers where they could grow replacement organs for patients.